So in this example, we're actually going to perform an ANOVA to test uh, if the population means are the same for the samples below, and that's this data here. Those are the same data values here uh, that we had up above when we were looking at the basic structure of an ANOVA. So the first step here is to verify requirements. Uh, we will assume that everything is verified. Uh, state your null and alternative. So our null, we've got uh, three different samples here from three different populations. Our null is that all the means are equal. The alternative is at least two population means differ, but we don't know which ones. So first we'll compute our F statistic. So I entered this data into the TI calculator, got a sample standard deviation in the first uh, five data values of 1.225, one in the second set of data values, and one in the third set of data values. Uh, the mean for all 15 values is 7.33. And then from above, we had previously calculated these means of 4, 6, and 12 for set x1, x2, and x3. So sum of squares of treatments is the, the sum from 1 to 3, k will equal 3 groups, sample size times xi bar minus x bar. So um, sample size here is 5, and then uh, x1 bar is 4, minus the overall x bar 7.33, that gets squared, plus the number of values in the second set is also 5. That mean is 6. So 6 minus 7.33. And that gets squared. And the third sample size is also 5. Uh, mean is 12 minus the overall mean of 7.33. And square that. So if you enter that into the calculator, you'll get 173.33. And then the uh, mean square of treatments is SST divided by K minus 1. So again, K equals 3, because there are three populations and three population means that we are comparing. So this is going to be the 173.33, and we're dividing by 3 minus 1, or 2. So that will give us 86.67. Uh, now we compute the sum of squares of errors. So one less than the sample size, that's going to be four, uh, times the first sample variance, so that's going to be the 1.225 squared, plus uh, second sample size minus one, four. And then uh, for the last two data sets, uh, sample standard deviation is one, so one squared and then another 4 times 1 squared. So that gives us 14.0025. Um, and then uh, mean square error is SSE, our 14.0025 divided by n minus k. Uh, N is 15, and K is 3. So that's 1.167 to three decimal places. And then the F statistic is mean square treatments divided by mean square error. So our mean square treatment right there, 86.67. That's our between sample variability. Uh, divide by mean square for errors, which is the 1.167. And that ratio is uh, 7, 74.27. That's our test statistic. So that is our F test. So we're going to reject if H0, uh, reject H0 if F is greater than F alpha. Um, so our F alpha here, this is a test at the 0 0.05 confidence level. Alpha is 0 0.05 there. 
And then our degrees of freedom here, uh, V1 is 2. That's just 3 minus 1. And V2 is 12, 15 minus 3. So we can compute that with Excel. So our distribution calculator in the inverse F tab. So we've got 0 0.05 for alpha. Uh, numerator degrees of freedom were 2. Denominator degrees of freedom were 12. 3.88. Or I guess if you round it, it's actually 3.99. So uh, you can get that from table in the book, uh, but we got it from Excel. So 3.89 there. Uh, and then we go ahead and state our result here. So since our F test here which is 74.27 is greater than 3.89, which is our F.05. We reject H0. So our formal statement here would be uh, that uh, there is sufficient evidence this would be our interpretation of conclusion. Uh, sufficient evidence to conclude the alternative hypothesis, which is at least two means differ. So there's much more between uh, between sample variability than within sample variability. And then we can check this on the TI-84 doing stat ANOVA. So you'll enter the sample data into lists, and that I've already done. So this is uh, the list for X1, X2, and X3. Then you go to stat, tests, and then scroll down to ANOVA, which is the very last one right there, H. Enter, and then you have to list uh, list 1, comma list 2, comma list 3. So this will be the second function of 1, comma, second function 2, comma, second function 3, close parentheses, enter. And so you see there is our test statistic. Uh, it actually calculated a p-value for us also. Uh, degrees of freedom for numerator, there's our 173.3 sum of squares and mean square error. And if you scroll down here, uh, degrees of freedom denominator, sum of squares and mean square. Um, and then they also give us SXP. I'm not sure what that is. But that is this data here. So, and that is indeed confirming what we did up here by hand. So it's not very common that you would do uh, these calculations by hand, but I wanted you to do a short problem by hand to get the idea of what the calculator or what the computer is doing for you when it calculates an ANOVA table.